Hi everyone, joining me today is Professor Leo Condren to tell us about the Bachelor of Agriculture and the Bachelor of Agricultural Science at Lincoln University. But before we make a start, Leo, please just take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us what you really enjoy about your subject area and your role at Lincoln. Okay, um, okay I arrived in Lincoln 40 years ago <laughs> this year uh, to do my PhD in soil science and I've been on the staff for 30 years um, and I've been um, engaged in research mainly on nutrient nutrient availability and nutrient um, dynamics and that type. Okay, great. So let's take a closer look at the Bachelor of Agriculture and Bachelor of Agricultural Science. What can students expect to learn about? Okay, so the Bachelor of Agriculture and Agricultural Science are really, in essence, the same, two, two different um, stages of the same degree. The BAG is a three-year degree and the BAGSI is a four-year degree. Students can start off in the BAG, switch to the BAGSI and vice versa. And the four key, the, 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 both degrees are based on, on four disciplines, animal science, plant science, soil science and farm management. And the way the degree is structured is that basically the first three semesters, which is um, basically half of the, the BAG degree, is that we, are, we require students to do courses that ensure that they're up to 200 level that second level at university study um, by the end of those three semesters. And that's a, a crucial part of, of the degree. After that, they can um, continue obviously in, in those four disciplines and we encourage that, but they can also specialize in terms of within them and also uh, explore other options um, such as for example, genetics or whatever. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So what are the classes like and is there any practical work involved? Yeah, the classes, um, I mean, they tend to be, obviously, the, the 100 level classes tend to be quite big because there's a lot of degrees in there. But as we get to 200 and 300 level, the, the, the classes become quite, quite small. Um, maybe 200 at 100, 150 at 300 level, probably 30, 40, 50. And there's also the opportunity to even do master's papers, 600 level in the final year of the AGSI as well. Um, but in terms of practical work, students are required to do 28 weeks of practical work. Um, and they must spend at least 10 weeks on a sheep and beef farm and at least 10 weeks on a dairy farm. And what they're required to do in that is that they're required to actually collect data. On the sheep and beef farm, they're required to collect uh, soils data and nutrient data. Um, and on the sheep and beef, on the, sorry, on the dairy farm, they're required to um, collect data on feed, on what, 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 what is used to feed the animals, what is used and when. And what happens is that they bring that, they, they collect that data and they bring it back to Lincoln and they use it in the third year of the BAG or the third year or fourth year of the BAGSI in what we call the agriculture practicum. What they do is they take that data um, from those, those systems and they essentially um, use that to look at different scenarios by using um, different um, modeling software. So when you look at, um, you, um, adjusting nutrient inputs, what impact does that have in terms of production, and also um, feed, what happens if you change the feed system in terms of, of whatever. So that's a, a compulsory course, it's unique to the BAG BXI, and, um, and it's been working for about five years, where it's been going very well, the students, students like that because they get to use their, their own their, their, their information from the practical work. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds good. So let's say I graduate with this qualification. What kinds of careers could I get into? And is there a demand out there in the workforce? Well, from what I understand, that there's certainly demand. And, and the impression we've been, given, we've been given for a long time is that there is uh, more demand than there is supply in terms of... Um, but agriculture is, a, is an evolving, complex industry. And um, the, there are many opportunities in there not just running a farm, but actually servicing the farms. And, and that means servicing in terms of, for example, consultancy, or in terms of working for the, the service industries like the Dairy NZ or, or um, uh, fertilizer industry, for example. So there, there are lots of opportunities in there. And, um, you know, and there are a lot of niche jobs as well. And, and there's quite a lot of entrepreneurial um, opportunities in there as well. Um, particularly in, in the very volatile industry that we're in at the moment. Yeah, no, absolutely. Lastly, do you have any specific subject recommendations for students looking at this qualification or advice to best prepare them for courses at university? I think the best advice I could give on that is that the BIG BIG is an applied science degree. So anything that you can do in science, 
to prepare to pre is good preparation. And it doesn't matter whether it's biological, physical um, sciences. Um, it's, it's, the more science, the better. It makes it easier to, to get started in the degree and easier to make progress in the degree. Um, that's 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 the simple advice I would give. Yeah. Well, that's great. Oh, well, thanks for joining us today, Leo. Okay. No problem. Great. And if you do have any questions or you would like any more information, just talk to your careers advisor at your school and they can put you in touch with your link in the liaison officer. Well, that's all for now. And we look forward to yeah, having you join us again next time. Thanks. Bye.